hi guys welcome to my channel uh, today we'll discuss about uh, creating a caching cached information link within the spotfire actually um, so I have so to do that you know I have uh, uh, data with half million records uh, of data table uh, in the SQL so so I would like to access this data within the spotfire and uh, um, through information link and then we will cache that information link later and we will see how it improves the performance within the spotfire right so so what I did initially is I just created an uh, information link through information designer and then I have stored it here as my information link uh, like IL underscore 500 K data and then this is the column elements where I have created so let's go through this information link so I just selected all these columns and then if you look into the caching drop down I haven't checked the cache so which means it should every time you know when you reload the or the dashboard will open in the spot where it should pull the data from the database um, so let's see the logs without using the cache and then we will see the logs after using the cache and we can so that we can understand that like in which version of the information link we are getting data from database and the other one is from the cached version of information link right so let's see that Okay, so I, I just loaded this data into the spot where you look into this guy here and then the path which is coming from this so we will s just reload this so it's reloaded the data now and we will it's 11.26 so we will go to the sql.logs to find this thing so instead of going through the root folder I just added that folder to my uh, IDE so where I can select all my logs at one shot right so I just acted, uh, added that folder logs folder so I just click on the SQL logs now I can see here I can clearly see here that at 1126 we just ran this information link and then it picked all the columns and then it treat this it, it fired this query to the database so you can see where it is reading the data from so this is the data source and then this is the list of data it is reading from the database and it took 2.42 seconds to fetch the data into the spot fire so this is the actual log without using the cached version of the information link so first let me delete this one right now you know for the better understanding so I'll just delete it this and there is nothing in the SQL log even if I open right now nothing because I haven't reloaded any of the dashboard I haven't refreshed anything right so let me um, let me let me go back to the information link and then change the information link cache will option so I want to cache this information link right here and then I'm going to set it up for 7200 which is two hours so this cache will gonna expire after two hours okay um, so we can or we can let's say maybe let's reduce it for 200 seconds so so it should expire after 200 seconds we'll see we'll save that we just saved it so we just refreshed the same information link so it refreshed we will go back to the logs we will open this log again so i think for the first time it reads the data from the database uh, after caching the first time it reads from the database i guess so let me delete this again i'll save this log and uh, closed it I'll just reload it once again the second time so we'll see now okay it got refreshed we will go back to the log there it is so 
it's not producing any logs which means the data is reading through the information link cached information link basically i'll try to reload one more time so i really did it uh, and then i don't i close it i sql i don't say anything so we have to wait till 200 seconds which means like two minutes to you know um uh, the cache has to be you know uh, expire after 200 seconds so we i'll try to reload again i'll close this and then let's see okay so so let's say i hope uh it's we are almost there to expire the two hundred seconds I believe we will see that we'll, till the time i'll just try to refresh and uh, see i'll also try to try to save this into my uh one of my folder structure as uh, always new data and then i'll try to save in the library because i want to open this to want to save the changes now i would like to save this within my folder of uh, my new folder i'll just call this as what i'm doing i'm not saving this i'm trying to open this okay save as my library item right and then i just go to this new folder i'll create a new folder here i'll call it as reports and then i'm going to save this data finish okay so it got finished so i'll just try to open this within my uh, web player So I think 200 seconds has been expired, but I'm not sure. So since I was able to open this dashboard here, we'll see now what the log is. Cool. It's it should be right. So that's the idea of this report. That's the idea of caching, right? So let me give it a try one more time. Uh, We'll open it once again. It's 32 seconds, 32 minutes, so I think it's, uh, and then we will open, not yet, not yet. So, so we will go back. Uh, oh my God, it's 200 seconds. Like I think we need to wait for five more minutes. Mm, that's long way right so I should have set it up for 60 sec 60 seconds it would be would have come by right now that's my bad there you go so the the moment the 200 seconds got expired so again, the, it started pulling the data from the database. So it's up to your requirement, based on your requirement. The, the, I mean, like for me, I'm going to use the same data source for multiple, um, the same information link for multiple dashboards. So it's for me, it's wise to store this information link as a cache. And one more requirement for me is like, basically I'll get the data refresh on every week so i would like to set up this timeout for a week so so when user opens these report in the within the client not in the web player i would have done the schedule schedule um caching if i would like to do this thing within the web player but here i'm trying to open within the client all these dashboards i need a performance definitely a good performance for all this dashboard so so this will be really useful in that case so also like you know there's a one note uh, so in case if you guys are using any kind of personalized information link or you guys are using this as a data on demand so 
definitely this is not a good idea to use uh, cached information link because the data has to be fetched every time you know uh, whenever you based on the marking what in your uh, uh, data on uh, demand so the data has to be fetched from the database so make sure that your information link is not cached at that time so so that's it so if you have any questions just let me know thank you good day